Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles. I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about the essential tools or things that we use to maintain our collection. Uh, for example, like this little mini USB powered vacuum that you saw me where I vacuum out, you know, lint and hair and stuff like that debris from my collection shelves from time to time. So today I want to talk about an essentials list of things that I use or maybe other items that you may find useful to you to maintain and upkeep your actual collection room, your shelves, your figures, things like that. So let's discuss. Hey everyone, Mr. Mama Collectibles, and I am back with another video. And as you saw in the beginning intro, I'm going to be talking about some of the tools and products and things like that that I use to maintain my one six scale collection and even individual figures when needed. So I just want to go through a list. I know these videos have been done before, so I just want to give you my take on um, the things that I use. Uh, before we get started, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time watching and you like the content, we are on the road to 2000 subscribers. I appreciate the support as always. Make sure to drop some comments below and let me know as a collector, what do you use? What kind of tools and things are you using to maintain your collection that I don't have listed in my video? And what I'll do is for some of these items that I can get you know, off Amazon, I will link those products in the description to this video below. So that being said, we're gonna jump right into my list. And starting with number one, it's gonna be the item that you saw in the intro video. And it's this. This is a USB powered uh, mini uh, vacuum that's used for like keyboards and computers or just anything for that matter. I got this off Amazon. I will put the link in the video. It is, like I said, USB powered. Uh, you see right here. Uh, it's very simple to turn on. I'll turn it on to see. There's a little bit of a a little bit of a flashlight there. It does have an adjustable nozzle here at the bottom, so you can use this to vacuum, or if you're using something that's delicate, like uh, my shelves that have a fabric protector on them, you can actually bra uh, push this down, and it's actually a brush. So you, it's very delicate. You can even go around figures and dioramas and stuff, and there won't be any damage. You just twist this piece off right here. There's a filter. You just empty it out, and then you just recharge it, and there's a light right there. So if you're getting into some areas that you can't see, there's a little light there that you can get into the crevice. This was pretty reasonably priced on Amazon, ordered, it came within a couple days, but this is something, uh, another option that you can use is a lint roller. I was using a lint roller for a long time, and what I was doing was I was taking all the figures off my shelf, like, uh, once every other you know every other week or so and i would lint roll the shelves if there was any lint or hair or anything like that but i found with uh, this it limits me having to deconstruct my whole display and i can actually get into a lot of the crevices and things like that um with this i do still sometimes break down the whole display but i don't do it nearly as much so my first item is going to be like i said a usb powered vacuum this is absolutely crucial and something i I'm surprised I didn't get soon enough, but this is something I'm so great to have in my collection. The next item is something that uh, gets used when needed, but I think it's very crucial, which is a heat gun. Um, this is something that I've had actually for quite a while. Um, if you've seen any of the videos I made, I actually built my own proton pack out of fiberglass and metal um, about three years ago, and I actually used this on that, and I've just kept this ever since. Uh, a heat gun is a very crucial item to have, um, especially, I mean, I'll link the video above if you see my... Um, breakdown of peacemaker when that was released i know there's a little bit of instant controversy with that figure with the gun being supposedly you know hold you know molded into the holster and uh those who have the figure you just use a heat gun heat up the holster and you pop the gun right out um i use this on the delorean uh for those who have the delorean the black bands that go around the car are very stiff so you had to heat them up with a heat gun to kind of bend them into place around the flux bands but more importantly if you ever had a broken peg a wrist peg on a figure where you snap, you're trying to change out the hands and you potentially snap the peg off in the arm. Uh, the best thing to do is actually heat it up with a heat gun. This has a control temperature, uh, low, medium, high. Um, I know people use a hair dryer sometimes, but this regulates the heat a little bit better in my opinion. But you can actually heat the uh, you know the arm up to where it's pliable and actually use another tool. Uh, I use these in my collection as well. These are good just to get into little crevices. And I bro I pulled out a bunch of wrist pegs with these. Um, like I said, you heat up the heat gun on the on the peg, and then you use tweezers or even needle nose pliers is another option to actually pop out the broken peg and actually get that replaced. So uh, my number two is going to be a heat gun. 
And why not? Well, number three are tweezers. The next item that I have in my uh, collection of tools is actually like a micro screwdriver set. Um, this is one that I got off of Amazon. So basically it's a screwdriver and a little bit of a, I use this for uh, model builds, but I also keep it for my hot toy figures. And I'll tell you the reason why. Um, it comes with the screwdriver and attachment. You also do get needle nose pliers and an assortment all, of all different bits. Um, this is great to use if you are using figures with button cell batteries or anything that you need accessibility to a screwdriver iron man figures the screws um for those compartments are much smaller so like i said a micro uh, or a precision screwdriver set is something that i definitely think is crucial to have it serves multitude of purposes but it's something that you know you may not use that often but you might be glad that you have this in your collection um, let's face it things break Outside of return policies could be, um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of stuff that could snap off on a figure and you might just have to break out the crazy glue and put it back together. Most recently using this was my arena Boba Fett holding the spear. Uh, he's back there on display somewhere up there and he was holding the spear and unfortunately the spear snapped in half and uh, used some crazy glue, put it back together and right where he holds it is where the break is. You wouldn't even know that it actually broke. Um, but crazy glue is something that is very, you know, it's pivotal to have and I think in your collection just because things do break over time. These are plastic pieces. Things may break, snap, whatever it may be and you may have to break out the crazy glue and actually glue stuff back together. That's just, you know, that's just what it is when you're collecting these figures and especially when the things break outside of any type of return policy or, you know, it might be easier depending on the piece breaking to just fix it versus buying a replacement on the aftermarket, depending on what that piece is. So like I said, crazy glue is my next piece that's in my uh, toolbox of items, so to speak. Now, the next item has to do with actually uh, conditioning figures. This is an, um, this is actually uh, Trinova, which is a leather conditioner and restorer. I got, I got recently two um you know near mint conditioned figures and i'm not one that normally uses any type of any conditioning on the pleather of my figures just because of where i am everything's pretty regulated uh but in this case because they were older figures it was the star wars a new hope obi-wan kenobi and the sand trooper and the obi-wan kenobi is notorious for the boots and the belt actually flaking um i got them in near mint condition so i decided to break out and get the trinova leather conditioner and restore um want to give it i want to give a huge shout out to connor the hot toys hotline um he actually made a video as well which i will put in the top of here which i watched and then i made my own as well um but he recommended this product others that people do are 303 there's many different versions of this that you can get so this isn't the only one this was recommended to me by a friend this is something that uh depending on where you are geographically or where your collection is in your home you might actually have to do this every month every two months so you have to kind of gauge it i know collectors that use this on a regular cycle just to maintain the pleather um i'm using it for the first time so i'll see how you know it reacts and how long that i'll need to apply this again but i just put this on my figures a couple days ago so like i said Trinova leather conditioner and restore premium leather care this is what i use but 303 is another alternate option that people have 303 comes in a bottle and you can also use wipes as well so i'll link both of those in the description of the video but this is my next one which is a conditioner for um, pleather soft goods the next item absolutely saved me and once again i got to give a shout out to connor for this one um i hope he doesn't get mad that i'm spoiling the tricks but this is something i do think collectors need to be aware of i was uh, brought it was brought to my attention um only a few days ago from making this video and it's actually mod podge this is a matte based this is a water-based glue sealer and finish that's what this is and i will put the link in the uh description of this video once again and what this does is this is something where if you're concerned about um, soft goods that are ripping or a belt or anything like that, um, and you want to kind of seal it and glue it so it doesn't, you know, further, you know, rip or tear, um, this is something that you would apply instead of the uh, the sealant. So you apply this, it's it looks white, it applies white, so it looks like you're painting white, but then it dries clear, um, and then you can get this in matte, which I have here. Or you can do a satin finish. So it depends on like what you're actually applying this to. And once again, it's a water-based glue, sealer, and finisher. And this is something that I may not use that often, but I'm so glad I have this. Um, like I said, Connor was a lifesaver. 
I got the Obi Wan Kenobi, as I told you, and he has a little pouch, like a little fanny pack, on his uh, on his right side that's attached to the belt. And one of the clasps looked a little loose to me that I was a little concerned about. I knew about it prior to buying the figure, but uh, I reached out to him saying, "Hey, you got any tips for me?" And he recommended this. I actually applied it to the belt and it actually, and the little pouch, and it looks fantastic. Um, I can link that video in the description here of actually that portion of the application here so you guys can see how that works. But this is another item that uh, I'm so thankful that I have. Thank you, Connor. I really appreciate it. And this is Mod Podge. I actually filmed this video previously, and then when I got this, I had to delete the video because I wanted to record it again to make sure that I included this in the video because I think this is absolutely an essential, um, especially if you have figures with soft goods that are potentially you're worried about deteriorating or you're buying a used figure and you want to make sure that you're repairing it to make sure it holds up. Um, this is fantastic to have. So this is my next item, which is Maj Posh. The final piece that I want to talk about is something that I don't personally use. I have not had the need to, but I do know from other feedback from collectors, there are some people that use this. And this is a dehumidifier and or a humidifier. Um, I just want to you know, kind of bring this up because this is something that it may pertain to you depending on where you live geographically. If you're in the United States, if you're in the West Coast, the East Coast, um, you know, Central, depending on where that is, or you know, overseas, depending on what the situation is, weather and temperature wise, um, and also where your collection room is in your residence, in your house. If you're upstairs, if you're downstairs, if it's in the basement, you may need a dehumidifier and or a humidifier. So this is something I just want to you know bring to you your attention as a kind of a reminder. Um, it is important to regulate the humidity in your room so that figures do not deteriorate unnecessarily, you know, faster than they should and have, you know, generate flaking and things like that. So like I said, a, a dehumidifier or a humidifier is a great option to have depending on where you are, but this is going to be very uh, collector specific. Once again, depending on your uh, geographic location of that. So like I said, guys, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I do hope if, you know, you find something helpful out of this and maybe something that you didn't, you know, may jarred your memory or thought, oh, wow, that's a great item for me to have. I really do appreciate it. Please consider dropping a like on this video and subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time watching and you enjoy the content i'll be making more videos like this in the future we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers so you guys are awesome and i appreciate the continued support as always but more importantly like i said in the beginning of this video please drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on what you're using and if it's something that i haven't listed personally like i said these are items that i'm using um either on a you know, on a scheduled basis or just in case there's an emergency repair. Um, and there's you know, something maybe I don't use. So drop a comment below. And so other collectors can see this and maybe sift through the comments and like it just a build. Like I just want to make like a little Rolodex of things that, you know, other collectors can watch and really feed off of. And just, you know, if it can help the next person, that's the whole point of the video. So until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectible saying, take care. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs>